Arguably, the NASCAR International Cup Series is crown jewel. Armory Digital Super Speedway here from Seattle, Washington. With the new rule being put in place that multiple drivers can drive for the same car, the 44 is not being driven by Leonardo Pasquale. It is being driven by Bill Edgewater. The 52 is being driven by Jay Salter. And the 9 is being drove by Nick Baker. It would be pretty drama filled to see a driver who was originally kicked out of Mason Dixon Motorsports just to come back to Skunk Works half a season later. It would add another chapter to the also law Ford versus Ferrari tale. But it is a Ford. It's Mason Dixon star driver, the NICS star driver, Felix Palau Carberg, who will get us underway here. On to lap three, it is the eight of LTT who has the lead. Three wide between the between the 88 of Topis Brown in the middle. And now can Connor make a four wide? I think we have a crash here. We did have a crash here. What was the cause of it? It looks like the 65 of Stevens just got himself wrecked. Lots of drivers trying their best to dodge it. Looks like Edgewater was in here as well. His front bumper is slightly dented. The 20 of Guy and the 43 of DJ Zeus gets it as well. Four wide does not work in this track, and you can see why right here. The 20 of Guy actually does a pretty good job at dodging all of this. He spun out, but his car is relatively okay. But the 44 of Edgewater will not have a very fun return. Barely lucky to get through all this. Fontaine who takes the lead. Oh, they got separated there. Cotto went into the apron. It looks like they're coming into pit, actually. Looks like the speed limit is 65, and they all do a good job of getting through there. It's that blue line where the pit stop. stop. This could be also a pretty good chance for some other drivers to as you can see here, Martin is leaving the pit stall right now with his little group. The first car in. The FPK is out. Stevenson is out. But what is that going to mean? Fontaine is going to be the first car out of there. And Fontaine just launched himself onto there. FPK is actually going to lose a significant amount of positions as well as LGD. 
but that just goes to show you how good Luis Fontaine, especially his crew is. Fantastic run from the 15. And Ops will do it pretty good well. It's right behind him. Fontaine and Ops are going to connect. The 24 will as well. It is a question whether or not the rest of these cars are going to try to work with each other. The current driver in the league was Luis Fontaine. But is it going to be Luis Fontaine after this next set of pit stops? Morrison Jr. is out of his way. We have Blue Cheese Racing's driver, Jackie Everett, who have switched to Acura to because Acura got himself into the sport and mainly cut the cost for Volvo. With Volvo only having to support four drivers now instead of six, that could make the quality of their cars increase. But it is still Fontaine who has the lead. On to lap 12. I believe we're coming into turn one. Yes, this will be coming into turn two right now. And Opsal is not that far away. And there is the Knight of Davenport. I imagine Opsal is going to catch up to Fontaine, but whether the question is, is it just going to be these two who race for the win? A super speedway superstar versus a short track specialist could be battling out for the lead here. You can see just how far away Davenport and Arden. It's going to be six laps to go this time around. Especially with that lap traffic, things could get very, very interesting. The 53, the 91, and the 3 have retired. That's just going to hurt Huckleberry's chances even more. He is not having a very good season for his standards. But his teammate, Fusa Opsal, could turn that right around. The fastest lap currently goes to the 83 of Hopkins. Let's see how far they are to catching up. This is the 46 of Burke, who has a very bad end of trouble. The 19 and the 16 are right there. Look at this. The pack has definitely worked back a bit. And there's even another pack that may be coming here. This pack could be very close to catching up as well. And I imagine that would be pretty much it. A lot of the drivers are way too far ahead, way too far behind to be significant. But we still have six laps to go. Opsal and Fontaine are going to try to easily wiggle their way past Edgewater. It looks like it's going to be it right now. Fusa Opsal leads the first lap. Opsal and Fontaine still 1-2. Fontaine goes into the inside. And they are getting closer. This rest of the pack is getting closer. I imagine all of them are going to try their best. Here comes Ross. <laughs> if there is one driver who could also get a second one of the season, it is Echo Ross quickly becoming one of the greatest drivers in this series. Won the Daytona race, got into the chase last season despite not winning. Ross is doing everything she can to put herself in the stable of this league as well, and this is one of the times he can do it. Edgewater is coming into pits. The rest of the pack is going to find Fontaine and Opsal any second now. And FPK could be coming up there as well with Hopkins. Five to go. Fontaine and Opsal are still one two. And Opsal just shoots his way past the Orson. And Fontaine has to use the outside to get past them. Excellent move from the 19. How dramatic would this be if the 19 of Opsal, who's usually known as a one-win wonder every season, gets his one win at the complete opposite of the track that he's used to. But here comes LGD. LGD into the inside, and he is basically there with Fontaine. Here comes Ross and Davenport as well. So many dramatic finishes we've had so far in the last two seasons, and it's just about to get even better. All these cars need to figure out a way to get past Stevenson first, and then they got to figure out to pass the 19. They have four laps to do it. Just barely 10 laps. Not just barely 10 laps, these cars have 10 miles to figure out how they're going to get past Pusa Opsal. One of these cars is trying to find their way past Stevenson. He's going to get there first. And look at the lust that Nick Baker got. No, I'm sorry, that's Davenport. Davenport got a huge lust, and that was going to take advantage of that going to the inside. Looks like Davenport's going to try his best to make it stick. And here comes Opsal's teammate, Dustin Morrison Jr. 
Just like what we saw at Talladega with Stevenson Brock to help the, the 96 win is also going to try to help the 19 win. It's going to be a lot harder to do so this time around. Everybody else is there. Also leaves, but the rest of the pack is there as well. Morrison Jr. actually does help Opsal. Block Stevenson for him, but Baker has got passed. Why do I keep saying Baker and seven for who got passed in that driving number nine? Fontaine has got past Baker as well. Here comes the rest of the pack. Lamarty is there. Brown is also there. Hopkins looks to make it about side of 96. This is going to be an intense two laps. I don't think Fusa Olsen is going to breathe until this race is over. He's going to have to have everything in his power and more if he wants to hold off the rest of these cars. These cars could get very aggressive. Remember, the 65 is a lap car, and here comes Ross. <sighs> Two laps to go for the 19. Is the rest of the pack there? Lombardi's there, but I think the rest are too far behind. It's going to be one of these cars you see on screen, I believe, who are going to win this race. And look at the long that Ross has got. Looks like that one seems to be winner, though, is Ross going to go into the inside. And there's the four... There's the 44 of Edgewater. The 19 blocks the 39. Just stand in the middle to not tighten up that car up too much. And there's three wide coming out of four. Where does Oakshire go from here? Another car going into the pit. Ross has the inside lane, but he is not there yet. LGP gets knocked into the outside. It's going to be one lap to go. Ross is going to come in. Opsal looks like the fake high and go low. That's his strategy for now, but here comes the 44 of Edgewater. Where is Edgewater going to go? Goes into the outside. It looks like that Opsal uses the outside. It's going to be a track race. And it blocks, but here comes Topiece Brown. The 88 of Brown coming out of absolutely nowhere. Two, three turns to go for Fusa Opsal. That could be a blessing for him. Can he make the move stick? But here comes the 88. Where did he come from? Is he going to be able to close it out Opsal at the last turn? Is it going to be over? He's got one more turn to do it, and it looks like it is going to be over. The short track specialist will win out of Super Speedway. What a win for Fusa Opsal. The 88 of Brown came out of absolutely nowhere for a fantastic second place finish. The fastest lap bonus will go to the 40 of Jeremy Cottle.